so after disappointedly I close for the video for the Symantec and part endpoint protection because it was getting too uh, long and I could not figure it out so I thought maybe that I have to go and uh, search something uh, I did search on Symantec uh, website all their videos are useless basically it's just a snapshot of the screen and then it does not show you anything like uh, what to do and it says uh, full video is coming soon and then I resorted to YouTube and see if there is anything over there there I found a few videos on Symantec uh, but they're all like the people or the system admins they they do have that uh, <coughs> they have bought it or got it through their company and they have their licenses so they were showing about how to download it through the, uh, entering the license and you can download so it was not for what uh, for our purpose we just want to use the trial version so then I accidentally uh, I kept playing around in the admin portal uh, and then I accidentally found something and hopefully I can replicate it again so basically deployment uh, I was unable to deploy it to uh, PDQ I did turn off the um, firewall on one of my machine but it didn't work so now what we're gonna do is uh, I um, wanted the software itself to search the network and I think I found it so it was in settings and device and then you have to disk you see select discovery agent so you have to click on this select discovery agent oh no not this one uh, discover now <coughs> so basically it's gonna dis it's searching but it's gonna say nothing found like after doing it I'm just showing it uh, uh, for s anybody else uh, you see it's gonna sh and you are so excited it's saying processing result but it's gonna still stay zero to fix it I'm gonna show you can I do it now no I cannot you see it's in search the entire subnet of my domain uh, IP address did not find anything and we do know if we go to here <coughs> and we run the CMD IP config use yes. sorry about that let's see you do see that the it falls in the same uh, network address dot one so, and if we go here CMD CMD IP config and you see dot one so, so to fix it uh, you have to click on this one thing edit IP range and if you s click on this and give the IP range it's still not gonna work I tried that to do make it work include public networks in discovery now Success setting for this name were pretty successfully. Now we're gonna try discover nine. Now, <coughs> and hopefully, this time we're gonna discover a few devices just like uh, Spiceworks that was very powerful. Uh, it discovered uh, everything on my network, regardless of uh, whether it was uh, part of the domain or not. It, it's gonna do the same and I hope it does <laughs> and that was not an accident ninety percent down so this time you see it's taking its time it's not so fast it means that uh, it's it has found something the at that point oh this time it found nine devices I think that's because I fired up uh, Windows 7 right here this one uh, what I did not try was deploying like uh, to push things to it um, and hopefully uh, succeed 
uh, there's nothing like if I click it nothing happens so for that unmanaged device and this is the part where I went back so discovered by this device you see uh, it's a bit uh, powerful this one Morata 7e and 1e I don't know what these are uh, we can actually check it Let's copy and go to <coughs> uh, it's telling us the uh, an IC vendor so this is a uh, Amazon Fire Stick this is the Samsung TV this is Windows 10 this is my host desktop this is uh, another virtual machine this is the computer over there it does have a ASUS motherboard this one I am not sure what is this so I'm gonna assume that is the uh, what is Morata what device is that smartphones oh it must be Samsung phones 1e and 7e yep that would do it this, this would be Samsung so Samsung is under this one yep all right so those are it even found the mobile devices so see how powerful this device is Spiceworks only wanted the whatever is connected over the LAN um, since Symantec you can uh, have mobile devices as well and protect them so it uh, found all the devices even the the one that is connected with the Wi-Fi uh, it does say unknown it should be said it should have said uh, Android or something so let's see if we are able to push and roll like I'm uh, let's see not this one mm. Let's push it to Windows 10. What is push enrollment? I have no idea. Device group. Administrator. What I'm thinking is maybe that it can push the software to it. Start enrollment. Uh, push enrollment initiated. View push enrollment status. So what I'm thinking is that uh, it added that computer and initiated so let's go to Windows 10 do we have anything here nope uh, is it protected by Symantec oh. nope that's just the Symantec folder there oh it got it agent package all right, just to make sure. Oh, I didn't want to. Now I'm gonna see, yes, we see there's nothing on this one. Sci man tech, nothing, right? Look at the spelling, everything is. Now I want to see if I can push it to uh, Windows 7. Devices, unmanaged, uh, Windows 7 PC. Can I push to this one? <clears throat> All right, got cool view initiated on its in progress. Oh, okay. So somebody has to actually install it. Sci man tech. It's not showing up here, so where it could be? Uh, is there any other action here that I can do? Retry and roll. It's uh, initiated. This one is in progress. So basically, this is in progress because I clicked on it to restart. Restart now. okay 
All right. So for this, I hate this one. It will be computer somewhere in downloads. All right. Restart now. So it's restarting. Documents. See users public public downloads right there semantic so you have to run it and good to know so once I click on this one and we refresh it here uh, nope we refresh the status and hopefully it will change from uh, if you can see that message popped up over there uh, let's bring it into the whole view so update semantic endpoint protection right so it, it's in there now uh, right there a hey, right there so this is pretty easy it says in progress and I guess it's just waiting another restart that's what's happening so that's how you install and push uh, Symantec endpoint to all of your computers and hopefully uh, you see this one is saying successful this one is in progress uh, you can push it to all of these devices I don't want to try on my phone yet I do have a, an, an older Android phone I can try on that I don't want to mess up with the, anything any device that is productive <clears throat> so since it's all lab environment I want to stick uh, to all the devices uh, <clears throat> that are um, that I can play on and don't have to worry about uh, them being uh, not a not uh, work for me so if you see that Windows 7 it gave us the message if you remember it gave us the message to update it so it is on 6.1 the version and the two uh, other one they are on 10 it's asking for restart now let's see restart now and hopefully when it comes back we're gonna refresh it so Symantec it's all web based you actually have to have an account with them uh, like a username password and you control everything from the web browser if you can see this is uh, indeed uh, uh, my uh, oh, I want to. I wanted to say Opera, Chrome. So it is Chrome. So everything is being handled within from the web browser itself. So let's go and give this the password here, and let's uh, see what happen. What's happening with Windows Seven? So this is how I can uh, like uh, once uh, all the computers are on, uh, I can scan them again by going to settings and device discovery. And once they are added into my hair in device and, and unmanaged devices, I can actually push the semantic to them. This is mob mobile device management over here. So from mobile device management, I can push to mobile devices. Uh, run discovery, I can run it. So what, it changed the screen on me. Okay. Where were we? On uh, device, mobile device. Unmanaged and MDM. That is for mobile device management. We can do MDM to push it to mobile devices as well. Since no devices are here yet, we're gonna keep it like that. Uh, run discovery is always like uh, you need a, at least one device that can be used to discover other devices. Let's uh, log into our Windows 7 and see semantic and actually let's go over here and see what is the Windows 7 version now it's still 6.71 uh, I think it's gonna ask me to update it 
So basically, I turn off the firewall on my Windows 10 machine and I did not turn it on on Windows 7. So regardless, it's on and off, uh, Symantec does get installed. Uh, for that, let's scan. Make sure that it's working. It's gonna take one or two minutes. We can wait for it. And what is that little discovery agent? So basically, this uh, icon, a little bit uh, tiny icon, tells you that this uh, device is being used as a discovery agent as well. You can make any other one as a discovery agent. You can see scan now. Oh, oh, this one is another nice feature. Okay. These are more as action that from here, uh, from your web, you don't have to look, actually, you actually don't have to log into each machine and scan them like I did over here, right? So it completed, closed, like uh, you don't have to access them. You are just on your web portal. From there, you can scan any machine or, or the number of machine that you want to manually or for that matter, you can click on this tiny icon here and you can scan all of them scan now and all the machines get scanned let's do that and see what happens a uh, quick scan will be done scan command assign to three devices so over here it will give you the stat uh, if you remember the IP config uh, screen or you can go back into the video and see these are the correct IP addresses so it gonna give you the status here that uh, is the machine secured or not yes uh, were there or were there any uh, alerts or was there anything suspicious found like status and all that you can update any machine <coughs> you can re restart it for example, let's go and see what what's the restart mean. Is it restarting the computer itself, or is it uh, more actions? Restart, right? So, so let's uh, restart it from here. Immediate restart allow user to delay restart. Now, so this is actually the Windows uh, machine. So this is Windows 10. I'm gonna move it like here so you can actually see half of it to see what's going on and click on restart and see what happened over there so you can see that uh, require this computer restart message popped up it's gonna restart now so I'm gonna pause the video here all right so you can see that the computer restarted I had to go somewhere so I just paused the video and left uh, so the system restarted let's log into it so that's how you restart a computer like if uh, an update needs to be take uh, effective and after an activity you get uh, signed out of the, the web portal as well so you have to click sign in again enter the password all right so So these all are the status that is pending. Let's see what are they. Ah, oh. so these are basically different policies. Uh, the task that you have to configure for your um, enterprise network. And you see detection resources, remedies uh, trusted certificates and all that that if it's uh, this certificate is present and uh, presented then you can let them go and all that so traffic redirection I think it's just uh, like if you have to read out uh, some devices or a resource uh, all that Hybrid cloud endpoint. So so far it's pretty cool. Um, I'm impressed. 
if you have used no, uh, like back in the day uh, Norton antivirus that was uh, bought by Symantec and then you really hated the antivirus at that time it will slow uh, your system down uh, and you just you know you just had a lot of problems with the uh, this one but uh, I am surprised how small the clients are or agents like how small the files are and how effective it is like you can scan and all that everything it's really impressive it's taking its time to log back in to all right so we're back here uh, it's all web based um, I'm gonna give it a few days uh, to keep running and do all that stuff while we are making other videos and then I'm gonna make another detail um, not detail a sum up video I have until January 11 to play with this uh, then it will expire so I'm gonna wait until then <clears throat> and then we'll see uh, what uh, reports generated over here and if I have any other any alerts and all that so for this I'm very impressed and I really like it especially this feature that I can push them and they get installed but uh, I'm not happy with that uh, you have to actually go to that folder and uh, uh, click it and then run it I was hoping for more like a deployment that it's automatically installed over there without the need of uh, clicking the exe over there um, other than that pretty neat I will try a phone I will try to get that Android phone and see if uh, I can uh, install and point on that phone as well or but uh, let's end this video here um, the only thing that was bothering me is not being able to install it to my other devices and seems like I can so we'll play with the fun, these fun step uh, fun stops uh, after let's say in a month or two thank you for watching if you like this video it helped you in any ways uh, please comment rate subscribe share and have a good day.